Hi Flosstube, this is Tara, the 805 Stitcher. I am the 805 Stitcher here and on Instagram and on my Etsy shop. Um, it's March 21st, Saturday, and this is my 10th Flosstube. So we're in the double digits now. Um, welcome to anybody who is new. Uh, this is a channel about cross stitch mostly. I will throw in some book reviews or um, uh, any other kind of crafty thing I wanna do. Uh, show my bags from my shop. So anyway, but it's mostly about cross stitch. And um, thank you to everyone who's returning and for subscribing. I've, I had kind of quite a probably about a handful of new subscribers since I last filmed. So thank you. I know um, somebody mentioned that they came to me through Sambri Stitches. So thanks, Becca. Um, let's see. Uh, crazy times, huh? Yeah, we don't you, you know, uh, I, we are, um, in, uh, ordered stay at home. So all the state of California. So basically, you know, don't go out unless you have to. Um, I was working full time through last for through this week. Um, but we are going to a staggered schedule in our office and, um, we'll only be in the office a couple times a week, um, when we need to be and preferably just by ourselves. So, um, next week I go in on Wednesday and Thursday cause I have to process payroll and, um, I'll work remotely for the rest of the time. So that kind of made me feel a little bit better. I, um, I wasn't really... I wasn't really happy going into work when I work at a school. I work for a private boarding school. And, um, of course, all the students will not be returning after spring break, which ended this week. Um, but uh, they'll be doing the online learning. Probably, I don't imagine they'll come back until next year. But anyway, online learning. Um, so, But everybody's pretty much you know, working from home, but except for our office, um, where we're in the business office and, uh, you know, we make things happen, process payroll, pay the bills, do the deposits, that kind of stuff. So anyway, we're, we're adapting, we're changing the way we do things, no traffic in our office and, you know, we're just learning. So yeah, uh, I need toilet paper. And I don't want to go out for toilet paper. Oh, I can't find any. Danny said um, he was at the shop uh, yesterday. He's a mechanic. Anyway, this woman um, had to leave her car and she was going to take the courtesy vehicle. From, he works at a dealership. And um, uh, she goes, she said, wait, I have to unload some stuff. And I guess she took out like two, like the big... I don't know, five gallon thing, big things of water. Um, took out about four of those. And then she had like four cases of toilet paper and, um, paper to, and then she had a bunch of paper towels too. And Danny's like, you know, all the guys were really mad. They're like, this is why we can't get any toilet paper because people are hoarding it. So, so yeah, I've got three rolls. I think there's only two of us in the house, but you know, um, I think we have some in the trailer, so not a lot. But anyway, that's the way it is now. Um, yeah. So, oh, you know what I did um, that has helped me from going to the store is I uh, started doing that HelloFresh that's with the food box that you get. I had gotten a free box from my daughter. She sent me a trial box or free box. So I tried it. Food's really good. I enjoyed it. Um, uh, and you know what I like? I don't have to think about it because I, I don't like making dinner. You know, I don't like thinking about what, what to ha make. Um, I don't mind cooking so much, but it's like, you know, how many years have I been doing this? And I, and then Danny's no help because it's like, what do you want for dinner? I don't know. I don't know. So yeah. So it's, um, we get three, three meals a week. For two people and I think it ends up being like $60 which you know we probably pay more for the pizza so um, 
and for my sanity a little bit, it's helpful, especially during the week. So, um, yeah, that's saved me from going to the store, that's for sure. Uh, let's see, what else has been going on? Um, oh, last time I was with you guys, I said that I would be giving a project bag set away, and um, this is the set. So, yeah, I'm too close, but this is the set. Um, and I was giving this away because I had reached 500 sales on my Etsy shop. So I thought that needed some celebration. So um, I'm going to just go ahead and say who won. Why wait? Uh, there were 24 people interested in this project bag set. I did do the random gen number generator. I can't say that very well. And uh, the winner was number four, and that was Kelly Hale. So congratulations, Kelly Hale. Um, I don't know if you if we're friends or followers on Instagram, but you can direct message me on Instagram at the 805 Stitcher um, and give me your address. I don't know if you've bought a bag from me before, but uh, I would have your address that way. But anyway, or you can email me at the 805 Stitcher at gmail.com. So congratulations. And that was fun. Yeah. So I don't know what I'm going to do next time. I'm almost to 300 subscribers, maybe here on YouTube or Flosstube. So, but I don't know. That's maybe when I get to 500 subscribers, if I get to 500 subscribers. So I'll be sending this off to you, Kelly, as soon as I have your address information. So, okay. Um, let's see. So life. Yeah. Uh, still waiting for baby Noah to come. He's um, supposedly coming April 20th. So that's kind of scary. Yet um, Right now, the way things are, um, my daughter will only be allowed one person in the delivery room with her, which will be her husband, of course. And, um, uh, okay, I am going to say right now, I know I'm going to touch my face. I know I'm not supposed to touch my face. I can't. Who knew I touched my face so much? But... I'm trying. I'm trying, really. Um, so anyway, what I was saying. Um, only one person in the delivery room, and that will be her husband, Sean. And um, no visitors. No visitors at all. So, yeah. It's kind of, I'm like, am I even going to get to see him? You know? I mean, right now, um, I haven't seen my granddaughter in a couple weeks, I guess. My daughter. And um, we FaceTime. But... Um, yeah, I miss them. And, you know, my daughter's around a lot. So, um, so yeah, it's all up in the air, you know. Um, so, yeah, waiting for him. Um, everything's ready for there. Uh, telling her to just lay low. She's just stay in the house. So, um, that's about all of life, you know. What, are we, what am I doing? Um and since I've been home, uh, well, I do have to work, so, you know, but I'll probably do some stitching in between, you know, checking my email and stuff. So, um, uh, we were at the, uh, beach last weekend and, um, I got a lot of stitching done there because it was cold and it didn't rain until the morning when we left, but, um, it was cold and dreary. So it's been, it's been that way for a couple weeks here. Um, just kind of cold and gray. So, uh, yeah, I, you know, I'll, I think I'm going to get a lot of inventory up on my shop. So that'll be good. Cause like I said, last time I'm trying, I was trying, trying to find some balance in that, um, with my work and my shop and my life. So, um, I think I'm getting there. I think I'm getting there. So. See, I did put up some bags today, and I'll show them at the end, so that if you're not interested in it, um, you don't have to watch. So anyway, and I'm also going to say that this is going to be a haul-heavy uh, floss tube. See, touched it again. Um, because all of my market stuff came. So, and I went, you know, that thing. And a little bit crazy. So anyway, if you're not into haul... Um, I apologize. 
So I'll do that at the end too. I'll do the haul and the shop at the end. So you can just turn me off. Okay, I'm not gonna do any mom's corner because um, I have so much other stuff. And I, you know, I'm doing this kind of on the fly. As you can see, I'm just not all spiffy, but um, because I, uh, I wanted to get the winner of the project bag. I want to get that in the mail before, you know, I don't think they'll shut off the mail. I hope not. I, oy, I'm, I can't go to Joanne's. I did go to Joanne's. Um, I went to Joanne's Thursday and we went to, um, we were Thursday night with our, uh, order to stay at home. And, um, so it's, you're not supposed to be the non-essential shopping. Well, I think Joanne's is essential, but who am I? I don't make the rules. Um, so I did stock up on a lot of stuff that I need to make bags. Um, I have enough material to probably last me a lifetime. So that's, um, not a problem. Oh, and I have some, I have some, um, I bought a bunch of, uh, Tula Pink's new line, home, homemade. And, um, oh, no, my nose is itchy. Homemade. And, um, it is so cute. And I got a different, different colorways of it. I don't know if you've seen it, but I can't wait to get that in. I probably, will probably have about enough, about 24 bags or so. It's really cute. So I'm gonna, I need to keep one of those because those will be fun to make. So, um, I'm excited about that and, um, I'll have this time to put them together. Um, so yeah, there's lots of time stitching. Do a lot of stitching. I'm not, what am I watching on TV? Floss 2, a lot of Floss 2. Um, still trying to catch up on Priscilla and Chelsea. I think I'm at episode 32. <laughs> Got a long way to go. So I didn't start, start watching them till they were way over 100. So um, am I watching anybody new? Um, no, not really. Just every, watching everybody and hearing about everybody's lives and how they're coping. So I just hope everybody stays healthy. I don't know anybody who's gotten sick. Um, but, you know, knock on wood. So, um, yeah, just keep washing your hands. Don't touch your face, Tara. All right, so, um, I'm going to do a little book review. So, um... Oh, the libraries are closed. There will be dog barking. There I am. I forgot to put them outside. Um, so the libraries are closed. And I didn't find that out until I went, um, I think, at the beginning of this week. I was like, oh, I think I have some library books that are due. Or I need to renew them. And because um, I have 11 checked out right now. So um, I went on the library website and I was like, what? Everything was, everything was not going to, um, need to be checked until April 30th. And then I realized, okay, they've, that's, they've closed the libraries. So all 11 of my books aren't due until, uh, April 30th. So maybe I'll get them all read. Who knows? Anyway, um, I read this one, uh, Fanny Flag, The Whole Town's Talking. And I think this was another referral, um, from Crafty Toads. I think it was at Toad Hollow. They, on their blog, they had um, book reviews. So this one, I, I really enjoyed this book. Really enjoyed it. It, it was a lot of fun. Um, the page, chapters are very short. It's just, uh, it goes from like 1890 um, till present time. Um, it's basically about a town in Missouri, and the man who started it was Swedish. Um, and it's about his life and, and the people in, you know, the original settlers and their lives. And, but it's just, it was a lot of fun. So, um, yeah. And there's a little twist, so I don't want to tell you too much, but, um, yeah. What does it say? The one and only Fanny Flag, bestselling author of Fried Green Tomatoes. Um, Elmwood Springs, Missouri is a small town like any other, but something strange is happening at the cemetery. Still Meadows, as it's called, is anything but still. The original, profound, the whole town's talking, a novel in the tradition of Thornton Wilder's Our Town and Flag's own Can't Wait to Get to Heaven, tells the story of Lord or Nordstrom, 
his Swedish male or the bride Katrina and their neighbors and descendants as we live, love, die, and carry on in mysterious and surprising ways. So I recommend this. So can't, you know, can't go to the library and get it though. Maybe you can do audiobooks. I still, I think you can still do audiobooks. Um, now I just started this last night. Jennifer Weiner. This is everything. I like her books. They're fun. They're light. Um, I've read quite a few of them. Um, what are there? Some other ones. Uh, In Her Shoes. Yeah. I, she's got a few, but I uh, just started this, so um, can't really tell you much about it yet, but I'll probably be done with it by the time, next time we get around together. Okay. So that was a little book review. Get that Fanny Fly book. It's fun. You'll laugh. You know, like it's lighthearted and it's good for these times. So, anyway, um, let's see. New starts. Where are they? I got stuff everywhere. Oh, here we go. Okay, new starts. Um, one of my new starts is. Oh, this is a new bag. Okay, I only have. I I listed this bag, and I think Caitlin likes favorited it. Caitlin, did you? Um, and it's, it's really cute, but I love it. Um, but I realized when I was, after I was looking at it, uh, I'd taken it to work yesterday and I must've gotten some spaghetti sauce on it. So it was a little dirty right there. So oh, I get to keep it. So anyway, I think I'll get more. This was a, um, oh, the lining. This was sent to me as a sample uh she, the woman who i'd bought and bought and bought this fabric from sent this as a sample and it wasn't i wasn't gonna have it go this way but i like it so i think i'll get some more of this to go with it so there'll be more so caitlin if you had your eyes on it um there'll be more uh so my one of my new starts is also from the hall and it's also from market and it's lindy stitches strut and tong uh, this is the kit. Uh, it comes with it's all the things. It comes with the chenille, the backing. Um, I kept it in the bag. The pins, everything. Uh, the fabric. So it's a fun little stitch. And I started it last weekend. But there we go. That's how much I have. Now, I've done this twice. This, this, what's this is, um, what is that? Cinnamon stick or something? Uh, cinnamon twist. Works, weeks dye works. And she gives you the fancy flosses in the kit too. You just need to get your DNC. So, um, but I, I was looking at my stitches and I'm like, was I drunk when I did this or what? So I ripped it all out and, um, and I started, I did it again. So I've got, this is the stars of the tail and I guess that's his top of him so he's so cute thanks Steph for making him he's adorable so and I love everything about this I think I love um the backing fabric for it I think this yeah I think I use this a lot this looks like something I use so um isn't it pretty I love gray so maybe I'll Maybe I'll have it fully finished next time. Wouldn't that be something? I hope it'll be. Danny's at work, and I asked him if he was coming, getting off early, and he said no. So, so that was a new start. Um, my other new start is Halloween Quaker, Lila Studios. I am doing this with um. A stitch along with Lee from Creative Lee on Floss Um, I know she hasn't gotten her stuff yet. She emailed me and um, she didn't have her stuff yet. But I wanted to start mine because it ties in with a lot of stuff I was going to do for March um, in the School of Magical Stitches in Literature. So um, I could use this one piece to do a whole bunch of stuff. So. Uh, which I haven't started yet. And where are we? March 21st. Uh oh. So this is where I'm at. Um, 
I have to tell you, let's see, this part down here, uh, this part, I did this three, three times. Yeah, I'm having a really hard time seeing this. I didn't, um, it's murky, 40 count murky, picture this plus. Uh, it seems really small to me. I don't know, the holes are very small. And I was at the beach and I, I only had my like hanging on magnifier, you know, so it's not as strong as the one I have at home. So I haven't tried it with my other magnifier yet and hopefully um, I'll be able to see it more. But yeah, three times and then it went on timeout because that's what we do when we have to pull, stitch, pull these, you know, single. Ugh. So anyway, Lee, here, we started it. So she'll probably, she might not start hers till next month. But like I said, I wanted to get going on it because it, it tied in with a lot of my homework for extra credit for March. So that was the new start I had. Um, yeah. Uh, let's see. What now? Oh, I have finish. Not fully finished, but finish. I showed this last time. Um, this was uh, something my mom had started. So I'm still calling it my finish because I finished it. But it was uh, this book, Tricks or Treat from Blackbird Designs. And it was this one right here, Merry Halloween. And from what I understand, this book's out of print. So someone had told me, I didn't know. I don't know these things. Uh, but I really want to do this guy too. And the lady that was telling me she wants to do this too. So, yeah. So, Tricks or Treat, Blackbird Design. And here we go. Finished. Merry Halloween. Cute. I think I'll probably do a little pillow. That seems to be the easiest thing. Um, I did put, I thought it would be cool to put my, my mom's initials and my initials down here and the year, but it looks stupid. So it doesn't look very good. Goodness gracious. So I think I, I think I'll rip that out, maybe try it again. So, but I have a finish. Somebody might be walking down the street. Yeah, that's what happens. They just sit there and bark. Or little kids playing or anything. So, finish. Thank you. Hey, Lee, I'm going to finish. Last time she said I was not good at finishing, but I'm great at starting things. Cute. All right. Um, so that was my finish. What about my whips? What was I working on? Um, oh, I touched my face. Let's see. I did all these things to tie into my... Um, homework from School of Magical Stitches and Literature. Oh, I did. I was reading the book for March. Mm -mm. I stopped reading that. I didn't like it. So I gave it a try. Um, so I pulled this out because uh, I needed something. I needed something um, that had the letters of cage. So I did church. I did animals. I did the gate in front of the church. That was a gate. And then I did eyes for E because they all have eyes. So anyway, I had to do like 300, 400 stitches on that. I don't know. Um, so here's where I'm at. So let's see. What did I do? I think I, um, I finished this part down here. I worked more on this church. And I did this. Did I do any? Oh, and I finished this, this pedestal that he's on. So, yeah. So that's Ann Roberts. Hands across the sea sampler. Um, I really enjoy working on it. I can see it really well. Um, yeah, I need to pull it out more for more things. So it's fun. So that's Ann Roberts. Oh, and I've got my, um, I really want to start this too. I've got it pulled out. Amy Can, also hands across the sea samplers. Look at that, isn't it cute? With the pink, I love it. 
So, um, touch my face. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna do it in DMC because um, I, I'm doing the silk with uh, Ann Roberts, and I think it'd be fine in DMC. I just don't want to put the cost into that right now. So I've got this out to um, maybe uh, pull this together. I'm doing the Ann Roberts on 36 count straw linen fabric from Weave Styleworks. So there we go. Um, just gonna put these down here. Now I'll put it over there. Okay, my next whip is in my So Much to Love bag. Um, mermaids. This one I did because I needed something that was under the sea. Uh, and I worked on Merfolk's Eden, Home Street Samplers. Um, I didn't know I had to do 300 stitches or something like that. And get threads. Get threads. Um, here's what I did. Um, I okay, hold on. Let me just hold it this way. I had um, done this flower. Um, the flower and the leaf. So I did all of these little motifs here and then I started on this dolphin. So, um, what am I stitching this on? I'm, I know I, um, I think I kitted this up when I was in Las Vegas at Stitcher's Paradise because I think that's where I bought this and I kitted it up at the same time. But it calls for a 36 count Nantucket brew. And I do believe this is 36 count. So I don't know if it's Nantucket brew or not. So, but for folks Eden. It's cute. So cute. So I need to pull that out more. Um, what else? I, oh. I'm working on, oh, I'm working on this, um, again for homework, and it was something uh, that you would want a tattoo of. And I said, I'd love to get a tattoo of a bee, and wouldn't this be cool? So, um, it's a blue flower quilting bee. I think um, Annie Joyfield Stitcher is working on it. She shows hers every now and then. So I've got the sleeping bee too, and I won't start that until I finish the quilting bee. I love this. I love working on it, except last night I didn't enjoy it because I started on this second wing here and I had done about 260 stitches. I needed 300. And um, I realized that I was doing uh, two strands instead of the one that I was supposed to. Duh. So, ripped that all out last night. Frogged. The frog was rampant here. Uh, this motif here is probably about two, or maybe even more, maybe three or four rows too far this way. Too far. Anyway, it should be more over here. So, I'm not gonna fix it. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna rip all that out. Are you kidding? I'll just make sure that I center it on the other side because the, yeah, the motifs on the other side too. So I'm, mm -mm, no way. But I love this. I would love to finish this. I would love to actually finish it just this way. If I could find some of that, some material like that, wouldn't that be cute? In the, with the tape measure. I was actually looking, oh, sorry, I get a, um, I have a pinched nerve or something and um, my arm will just go numb. So if you see me doing, it's cause I have, it's needs to be woken up. <laughs> uh, yeah, I need to go to a chiropractor or something. Um, so anyway, I worked on that, blue flower. Um, probably, I probably have a pinched nerve from sitting, my posture, posture is bad. Um, I'm always hunched over, work, sewing, stitching. 
I can work on posture. Um, the last thing I worked on was uh, my Christmas garden. And what did I work on this for? I don't remember. Again, it was homework. Oh, something with letters. I think it was something with letters. So. And so I know I have three or four stitches I think I had to do. Um, so. got that done. I probably, let me see, what did I work on? Oh, I think I finished this motif. Let me see. Um, that motif. And I think I did this. I think that's what I worked on. And maybe some more over here. But, yeah. I enjoy working on it. I do. Oops. I'm doing with this with um, Shannon and Lisa um, on Instagram. Shannon is also one of the M&M stitchers with Jody. Jody. Pretty sure it's Jody. So anyway, um, they're working on it. Uh, I don't know. Lisa said she's had work. She was working on it at one point, so I don't know if Shannon started it. So, anywho, those were my whips um, for the last couple weeks. I had to do a lot of stitches, and so there weren't that many things. So, uh, what are we going to do now? What are we at? 30 minutes. Okay. Oh, well, what I've got left surrounding me is haul. So, um, I have, sorry, squeak. Um, first of all, I, uh, I mentioned this last week that I was a winner. Um, Brandy from, uh, Bee Stitch Me does little giveaways. Oh, I should look and see if she has anything for today. I don't know. But um, she's uh, Bee Stitch Me. She has great fabric. I showed some of her fabric last time. But I won one of the giveaways, and it is Glendon Place Phantom Plantation. Look at that pink. Oh my goodness. Has anybody done this? Have you done it? That's a lot of work. There's a lot of backstitching in this. But I love this. It's like this. this creature from the Black Lagoon coming up out of the water. Yeah. Don't know when I'll start this, but I like it. So thank you, Brandy. So I got that. Look at all the, okay. I don't even know. Look at all the colors for this thing. What is the fabric? Feldspar 28 count. That might be, that might be an option. And then I um, was watching a stitch for mom and I won her giveaway. So uh, she was giving away Blackbird Designs, March of the Daffodil, right? March of the Daffodils. And it's, I thought it was so cute. The, the little, um, I love these. They're the little stockings. I guess they did them for each month at some point. But I really like this one. And I like this one too. With the being Irish. I like this one. I don't have anything on Irish that I've stitched, but so thank you, Kaylin. What a nice surprise. Yeah. Uh doo -doo. yeah, it was a set of patterns stocking series. So this was the one for March. So Blackbird Designs. Thank you. All right, that was um, my winning haul. Um, oh, I got my Primitive Needle and Punch, Punch Needle and Primitive Stitcher magazine. I basically wanna do everything in this book. Um, I just, I, 
I can't get over everything. Um, let's see. I know I saw Steph, just keep stitching Steph, has done this already. Uh, that is Spring Hair Etching, Cecilia Turner, Heart and Hand. Um, this is, uh, I need to remember how to do punch needle. I mean, no, I have to learn how to do punch needle. But look at that. It's the Brewsters with an umbrella. And he's got a coat on. Freaking cute is that? Uh, I think that's two old crows. Yeah. Janine Happ of two old crows. Punch needle. Super cute. Um, oh, and I liked this one too. Barbara Anna Designs. What do we call it? Spring in my heart. I think I might just start a little something like that. And then uh, Lindy Stitches has a cute one in here that I saw someone had finished on Instagram too. There's Bonna Pfeiffer and her um, a little finishing tutorial. That's this, this magazine is just wonderful. I love this magazine. Oh yeah, here's Steph's. Um, Lindy Stitches, Hedgehog House. And she said that this is going to be a four-part uh, tart series. It's done in a tart. Yep, I gotta do this. Gotta do it. Oh, Domino's is telling me to order. My phone's reading my mind because I don't feel like cooking. So, anyway, uh, and I think there was super cute. Oh, this one, Teresa Kogut. Look at this. Is that adorable? What's that called? Chocolate bunny. Okay, that's what, four? I want to do in here. I mean, this magazine is just so done. They have an article on Inspired Needle. Who was I watching? Oh, I think it was um, Priscilla and Chelsea. They were talking about Inspired Needle. So, yeah. Oh, and then Nerdin from Twin Peak Primitives. Oh, that cutie. So, yeah. That's another one. Well worth my $35 for my subscription. 38 or something. I don't know. Oh, and then there was another one. Uh, I thought this was kind of nice too. Teresa Miller from Teresa's Primitive Treasures. So that was kind of came in. Um, in my mom's stash, I um, she had all of this wool. And I didn't know what it was for. I knew it was said Prairie Point Junction Sugar Cookie Halloween. So I had the wool. I've been wanting to do some wool applique. Um, she even had, I don't know, some glue and some needles that she had purchased. Uh, so I I was thinking, oh, I'm never going to find the, the pattern probably because who knows when she bought this. The receipt's in here. Um... 2011. But I went on Prairie Point Junction and I found the pattern. So I got it. It is Sugar Cookie Halloween. Isn't that cute? So I don't know. I'll try it. Somebody said you should start with something that's not so intricate at first. So maybe I'll just try the bat. And then we'll move on from there. Cute. So I was glad I found that. So in my free time, I'll do that. Um, I found this when I was keeping my social distance. Or social distance, is that what we're doing? Anyway, this set Joann's. It was 50% off. It was like four bucks. I thought it'd be cute for a finish for something. At some point, something Eastery, of course. Uh, yeah, so that was a find. 
Um, let's see. These are things that aren't, uh, not really market yet. Oh, I saw this um, freebie from Twin Peaks Primitives. They listed this. I, yeah, it's probably on their, do they have a, probably on their list or their website. I thought it was cute. I thought it was either patriotic or Scandinavian a little bit too. So got that for free. Um, I had, I've got a bunch of stuff that has black coffee, classic color works. And you know, it's hard to find black coffee. So I was on Cottage Needle and got the last three she had. So I have black coffee now. I think it, um, the Halloween Quaker calls for this. And I didn't realize I needed as much. So yes, got that from Cottage Needle. She always she sent me a little, uh, put a little needle in here. That's very nice. And you know, thread can't travel alone. So I, um, I saw this, uh, it's a market release, Stacy Na Stacey Nash Primitives, and it's the Animal Cracker series, and it's Scarlet. She's just adorable. I love her little, she's holding the pen, the needle. And then, what's the back of her? Cute. Cute. So that was my haul from Cottage Needle. Um, Trish Turner, uh, Threads Entwined, had put a little thing on Instagram if um, anyone was interested in her. I don't know if this is a club that she does. Um, it's like, it's different. It's three of the Week Style Works, three of the Classic Color Works, and three of the Gentle Arts. And I think she might just had some left over and she said, anybody want them? And I'm like, sure, I can always use them. So, and she threw in one of these little, this is the first one I've gotten. So, um, speaking of threads entwined, um, she is doing a um, customer loyalty pro program for all orders um, for the immediate future because she just wants to you know, thank everybody and give them a little something. Um, it's going to be, uh, she says with all orders, um, in the immediate future, she will have a code in the package. So I know I got my code when, um, I got, when I bought this, she sent a little piece of paper with the code, but she's also, um, she also hit up floss tubers and she said, Hey, if you want a code for your viewers, just hit me up. So I said, sure, I'll do it. And so, um, my code, it, my coup, my coupon code or code is um, Stitcher15. Stitcher15. And it's 15% off um, for my viewers um, until the end of May. So if you're needing anything and it's 15% off, it's Threads Entwined, um, go to her website, threadsentwined.com, and um, use the coupon code Stitcher15. So yeah, thanks, Trish. She's just. Have I told you enough how much I love her? She is just, I've just got to go visit her or something. <laughs> um, she's just so giving. She's so, so wonderful. So, um, I was on Instagram. I gotta stay off Instagram. I, I spend a lot less money. And anyway, um, Link is my homeboy. Was doing, was finishing up this. Barbara Anna Designs, uh, she did all different colors, which I, I think I might try doing different colors too. Um, just because I think it all kind of gets washed out, but she's, um, riding a flamingo. So it's all DMC. And a cute, a pearl from the sea, Barbara Anna Designs. Um, I probably was watching... Brenda in the cereal starter. Um, and they have me buying samplers. And I saw, I think it was on their uh, floss tube. And I fell in love with this. And it is a, you have to get it from Sassy Jack's to Tree. It's a sassafras sampler, um, middle mist red sampler. 
and yeah, I fell in love with it. I don't know. I don't know who I am, but sorry. Um, yes. Just said everybody needs a red sampler. So how to get that? They threw in a little um, a little plate uh, that you put on your back of your work. That's cute. Thank you. They also sent like a little corner guard, corner thing to judge your corner on your fabric. So that was that. Um, now we're on to market. So that's not a lot. Yeah. Okay. Um, so here we go. Uh, I got these from Cottage Needle. Uh, I kind of shared the wealth, I think. Um, this was my uh, With Thy Needle and Thread, Brenda Gervais uh, market releases. I collect. I saw this. I um, I have a bunch of uh, antique buttons from my mother and grandmother and I don't know who else. And I fell in love with that. So I collect. Let's get your hands off your face, Karen. Um, that's that one. I also got... Um, Berry Keeper. I think it's all sewing related. I don't know. I do have a fascination with sewing things. Um, and then I got this one, Coffee First. I like the little spoon. I think I'm going to have to get that little spoon. You can get it from Country Stitches Online. So that was my um, With Thy Needle and Thread, Brenda Gervais haul. Um, I got some things from Threads Entwined. Actually, I got a lot of things from Threads Entwined. Um, she was so sweet. Again, Trish, thank you. Uh, she sent, now I don't think I bought these. I don't know. Now she says, it's a thank you. No, this, she threw this in. Um, this is a chart um, that was uh, designed by, let's see, oh, Little House Needleworks, yeah, um, to, uh, and it was given with the, um, the new classic color works colors. So the new, uh, what are they, Lighthouse? Um, Mariner's Compass, see that? And I like this one, Chesapeake Bay, very nice. So, um, yeah, so this chart came with, with it when you purchased these. Um, Trish threw this in as a thank you gift, so. Thank you, Trish. I will, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do one of them, so. Yeah, but it's the three the three colors that you can stitch in an either one or all of them if you want. So cute. So that was her little thank you. Thank you. Um and here we go. Plum Street Samplers. It was my blue flower and plum street sampler haul. Uh a shepherd song. This is a book. I love this because of all the sheep. That's why I bought this all the different designs on the sheep and the Dalmatian. So, it's just gorgeous. I mean, look at that border. Look at that border. So great. Okay, um, I also got Sweetheart Hill. A lot of grass and a big house, but we can do it. I belong with you. That's a lot of, that's a lot of white too. So, very cute. I uh, had to get this Rue Crew. I have a, I have a few of these. I have my friend Joseph Gene Foxview. I got the turkey one, I think. Oh, I have the sloths. So, uh, spring, 
spring has sprung. This is in a series, isn't it? I think. This is the only one I have. So, maybe I'll have to buy another one. I did the series. I don't know. I like it. It's very sweet. Okay, that was my Plum Street samplers. Uh, blue flower. I collecting all the squirrels. So I had to have summer squirrel. You know, I got all this stuff and Dan, I was so excited. And Danny's like, oh, more stuff that you can never finish in your lifetime. I'm like, you know, you just don't understand. There's the stitching part of it and then there's the buying part of it. So, so, anywho. Um, and this one, I just, I fell in love with this. Um, Huckleberry Farm, like many of you did. Just wonderful hands, yeah. Huckleberry Farm, and let's see. Um, she threw in another little freebie, I think. Um, a heartstring sampler designed by Beth Twist. It looks like I don't know if it's a freebie or not, so. I can't show you, but it's exceedingly grateful, and it says, in all things, be exceedingly grateful, and then um, it looks like two little skunks, and then a, a urn with pot, so there's no colors, though. I bet, I, I don't know if I have to go on Beth Twist's site and see, and then I saw this and couldn't let this go. Of course not. Um... Little House Needleworks, Pringles. I just gotta quit my job. I just have to retire. Can I retire? I still got how many more years? How old can we be? 67 or something? I got a number of years left, but not that many. Okay, so that was um, my uh, Threads Entwined order. And thank you again, Trish, for the little goodies. You're so sweet. And remember, if you want to um, order anything, use my um, coupon code STITCHER15 for 15% off. So, um, like I said, I've been watching uh, Brenda and the Serial Starter. And I listen to them and they're like, you just have to buy everything Blackbird Designs. And so, I know I've been trying to, um, what is it? Uh, Blackbirds designed the book. I think it's Freedom or Liberty or Freedom. And then there's a red, white, and blue sampler, and you can't get it. I can't get. It. It's like one of my unicorn unicorn charts. So when I saw they had a new book, I just had to get it. So Selling Club. I just got this yesterday. I got this from Beach Cottage Stitchers. I think she bought a bag for me. I think she bought one of the Holland bags which I'm out of again. I don't know if I want to do anymore. Hmm. I don't know. I've got a big um, project bag job that I'm going to be working on. Can't tell you anything, but yeah, I'm going to have to start doing that. So anyhow, um, sewing club, Blackbird Designs. I haven't, I just got it. I haven't even really looked at it very closely. So I just want to mm, sit and really take it all in. So, um, yeah, there we go. So that was, um, that was Hall. Sorry, not sorry. No. Um, when am I ever going to do these things? Who knows? But. You know, maybe something will be a giveaway if I really go, really? Do you really need that? So, that's it. Um, I'm going to show my bags, and then we're out of here. So, if you're not interested in my bags, then thanks for hanging out with me. And I'll see you maybe in another couple weeks. Maybe in a week, because we all have more time, right? Okay. But if you're still with me, oh, darn. I'd forgotten about this. Beach Cottage Stitchers had given me this little chart. Um, it's Lindy Stitches, um, Peter's Day Out. That was sweet. So, 
can, that, that's a little one too. You can just whip these things out. So that was from Beach Cottage Stitchers. Okay, bags. Um, I did four today. Um, my pictures really are sucky on uh, my Etsy shop because there's no natural light. It's been gray again and the sun's out now, but it's hit and miss. So, but this is Dreamweaver. Um, this, it, I liked it. It had a lot of um, nice sayings in it. I'll read some of them to you. And then this is the back. Uh, some of the sayings are, in dreams we plant the seeds of our future. Um, let's see, live simply, dream big, be grateful, share love. The biggest adventure you can take is living the life of your dreams. Come with me where dreams are born and time is never planned. I just thought it was sweet. And these times, you know. So, that's Dreamweaver. I usually name my um, bags after the fabric design. If, if it is a collection or something. So... Dream Reader. Um, I did another Spring Awakens. The, the other one I did had the uh, teal background, but I could not find any teal. And so I could only find orange. This um, fabric is pretty much gone. Um, and this is the back. So, so cute. I think I need to save one of these for me because I did not save one for me last time. And, um, yeah. So there we go. That's Spring Awakens 2. Um, then I have this one, which is very sweet. Um, but my picture it looks stupid. Um, why did I say stupid? That's not nice, Tara. Uh, this is Modern Farmhouse. I also will be doing this um, with a different coordinating, uh, a sage floral. But this is the plaid. And this is the back. Modern Farmhouse. I think this is a uh, Riley Blake. I'm not sure. Yeah. So that's Modern Farmhouse. Um, and the last one I did, um, I call it Conservatory Fruits because that's the name of the fabric. And um, here we go. I like this. I really do. Sorry. Uh, I like it. The pictures on my shop don't really do the colors justice. Very vintage. I think this is oh, Liberty something. I don't know what this is, but um, yeah, conservatory fruit. And I'll be doing it in another colorway as well um, when I get to it. This colorway. So that'll be that'll be nice too. I like that. That's it. I've got a huge stack over there of fabric in it so that's um stuff to come i even got a got a marble the comics um, yeah so a lot of stuff going on um check it out if you want if you've purchased bags from me uh, thank you very much i have um many repeat customers and um i have people who are super loyal to me so um, I really appreciate it. I appreciate all the shout outs I get for my bags and, um, yeah, uh, thank you. It helps. And, um, it's been fun. I enjoy it. So as long as I enjoy it, keep doing it. Right. All right, people. Um, I think that's it. Uh, just under an hour. So not too bad. Um, take care during these times, huh? Stay healthy. Don't touch your face. Don't do as Tara does. Um, I'm going to have to go wash my hands. Um, yeah. Just, I don't know. Stay inside. Just stay inside if you can. Um, I know a lot of people have to go to work. So, um, you know, Danny's one of those essential functions. He's, you know, dealership or, uh, you know, um, repairs. So, and part of my job is too, so, um, but yeah, we'll get over this. We'll get through it. I know we will. So everybody stay, stay healthy and I'll see you next time. Bye.